Do you like to hunt for lots and lots of retro video games? If so, look no further. Hi, I'm Scruffy Looking RGB, and I take you on retro game hunting adventures all over Japan. If you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe because I bring you new retro game hunts from Japan every week. Today's hunt brings us to Saitama Prefecture, to yet another Mandai Shoten. Today we're in Kawagoe. Kawagoe is famous for a little time capsule of a street that takes you back to the Edo period. But today, we're looking for games, so let's take a look at what they have to offer. Okay, so let's get inside and see what they have to offer here at Mandai Shoten in Kawagoe. As you can see, like many of the other Mandai Shoten, the first floor has a plethora of UFO catchers and gachapon machines. There's Kimetsu Yaiba for days and days, Gundam, along with all the others. And we take the awesome ride up the escalator to heaven. And we arrive at the games. They do have, as I drop things to the floor, a good selection of Rockman games here on the PS1. But before we get into that, Let's take a look around a little bit. As you can see, this place is packed with games. We've got a Displace Case number one over here, some Famicom games. So since we're here at the Famicoms, let's get into it. Ankoku Shinwa, or Myth of Darkness, I can only imagine that being an exclusive Famicom game for Japan. Nankoku Spy vs. Spy. Ultraman Club. They have a good little collection here of Famicom titles.
Twin B3, which is always a good one. Some titles I found here that I've never actually heard of before. Here's one, Aikina no Yogen, or Aikina's Prophecy. I've never heard of this one. Another good thing about this recycle shop is that I think they have deals where if you the game is under 400 yen, you can get three for a total of 800 yen, which is a pretty good deal. Looking at Titan there, I've never seen that game before. Some sort of a hockey game. Tenchi no Ku. Spartan X, the greatest kung fu game ever. Most nostalgic kung, kung fu game ever, I, I should say. Here's one I ran across on my live game hunting video. Go and check that out if you want. Not sure what this is about, but I like the artwork on it. As here's another title I've never heard of before. It's another one you can get for three for 800 yen. Tom Sawyer's Adventure. Solstice. That's another one I've never heard of before. 15 bucks. Maybe it's a good one. Or a sought after one for 15 bucks, I think, maybe. Space Shadow. 26 bucks. I wonder what this looks probably. Maybe a shooter. Would be cool. It's got a gun. Looks like alien like. We got. Downtown, Kunio Kun games, all kind of Kunio Kun stuff here. Nice little collection of them. Niketsu. This is the Kaktogi Densetsu version. Then we have the one that I talked about last time, Jidai Geki version, and a few. Silk Road, the Rainbow Silk Road. This is probably an RPG for 714 yen. Not really too familiar with it. But then again, I'm not too big into RPGs. Hotaman no Chite Tanken, or Hotaman's Exploration. Metal Gear. The original, going for 15 bucks, Bomb Jack. I often see this, but I have not played it before. Some Mega Man titles, Mega Rock Man 4, 5, and 6, and WrestleMania the Hulkster. Gotta love the artwork on this. Got the warrior in the background too. Sun faded version. Very cool, nostalgic games right there. Lost World for 500 yen. Another game I don't know much about. Mahjong Taikai. Something I'm not interested in at all. In a casino type game, which is probably not much fun either. Battle Fleet for $13. This may be a good game. It, maybe it's a shooter. I don't know. You guys tell me. DuckTales. That is a great one for 700 yen. You can't go wrong with that. Great action platformer. Very nostalgic for me, definitely. And we got some Mega Drive here up in the corner. Just a couple. And some Wonder Swan games, I believe. see too many Wonder Swan games all that often. Final Fantasy there on the end. Got Game Gear games as well. Also very limited. Another Famicom Racer. It's a thousand yen for that one. Some tennis here. With like some old pros. I wonder if those are famous tennis players from back in the day. Probably. And also a limited. We have Superstar Soldier down here for the PC Engine. Some 
junk games down here as well. I'm so very shocked at how well PC Engine Hue cards hold their value. Sometimes the loose Hue cards aren't much cheaper than the ones in the box. We got Hey Bereke, Po Boon. I'm not sure if this is the. There's only one of these or two, because I think I've seen a different version of it before, actually. Little fighter. I think I talked about it in another video a couple videos back. And we have Nakayoshi something or other with the cutesy Sailor Moon characters in it. Tokyo Disneyland game. As we get into Super Famicom Mystery Circle. Interesting. I wonder if that has to do with UFOs. WrestleMania by Acclaim. Little Monster. Curious about this game. I've been seeing it in the past three videos I've done. Ranma one half. Another Ranma next to it. Always a good time with Ranma. Just don't get them wet. All right. I think we're reaching our Lagoon RPG for the S Super Famicom here. Let's see what we got on the back wall. We have Battle Bots. Final Fight. Classic one here. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Along with Pinocchio. One I've not seen before in the wild, actually. It's got some writing on it. Could be a fun action platformer. I don't know. Maybe it's worth picking up. What do you think? We've got Donald down here. Kabuki Rocks. This is another one I've recently found out about. Troll Island. Uh, nostalgic and very creepy looking title, to say the least. Got some Goemon games. Ebisumaru. Zelda. Can't go wrong with Zelda. And Seiken Densetsu 3. Always goes for a pretty good price. Wangyan Land for the Super Nintendo 700 yen. Both of them right next to each other. And some Bomberman here and there. Super Mario World. Street Fighter 2. Yoshi's Island. Punetoro. Spapon. Spapon. Interesting title. Washoi. Another Ban Presto Gundam slash Kamen Rider Ultraman game. There's a lot of those Ban Presto series of games. Ashibe. The Arashi or the Seal, excuse me. Gegege no Kitaro, not bad. 15 bucks. Uh, love Gegege Kitaro series. Uh, my first favorite was definitely Ninja Kid on on the NES. We have V Gundam, Victory Gundam here. I don't know how good that is. A lot of Gundam games are not very good on the Nintendo, or the Super Nintendo. The Shinni game. So, the Psycho game, or whatever you want to call it. The, the, we got Gegege no Kitaro again here. A couple copies, 15 bucks. Seems a little steep, but I've been looking to pick this one up for quite a while. Um, here we got Kunio Kun Oden for 714 yen. I've yet to play this, but it does intrigue me a lot because it, it makes me think of. I don't know, just Oden is a good. Yeah, I like eating Oden, so having Kunio Kun and Oden mixed together can only mean one thing great game. We have Ginga AU Densetsu, so Galaxy Hero. Legend. And we have California Games 2. 
artwork on that is interesting compared to the Western version. Battle Dance sets two. Casper for ten bucks. And a train simulation, city simulation deck game. Wing Commander. I think this one has Mark Hamill's voice in it, possibly. 714 yen. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Elfaria 2 for 400 yen. Another you could get for a deal. Nyanko game. Never seen this one before. 714 yen. Angelic 500 yen. I have no idea what that is as well either. Excuse me. Hey Bareke, I've been looking at that one for a while. Would like to pick it up. Breath of Fire 2. Home Alone! Just in time for the holidays. But let's take a look at some other types of games here. So recently I've been looking at a lot of Dreamcast and uh, Sega Saturn. So we're going to dive into the Dreamcast here. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to find that Dreamcasts are probably more expensive especially then um, Super Famicom. It's not that you can't find good deals here and there, but the good games tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side. Ready Rumble Boxing. Code Veronica. Not bad stuff in here. I don't see a whole lot of really good ones though. Okay, let's move on to the Sega Saturn. Fat dude playing Go, or what is that? Shogi, excuse me. So we scroll through the aisle. We got lots of fighting games in here. Sorry if I'm going too fast. We got Ultraman. Love the artwork on that. It's not too expensive. Nope, a risque game, eh? Gravity Zero. Cubic Gallery, Gundam, another Gundam, another Gundam, GW, don't know what those games were. Here we have Gege Gege no Kitaro, one of my favorites here. I've never played this version, but I definitely like to get it because it's Gege Gege no Kitaro. Can't go wrong with that. Some soccer, Shining Force 3, 41 bucks. It's pretty expensive, so I'm guessing this is a sought after title. Is this a shooter? Action platformer. And another Shining Force 3, same price. Another Ultraman game here. Evangelion. Evangelion. Street Fighter 0 for 700 yen. Not a bad price. But this is one of the more common Street Fighter 2s for the Sega Saturn, I believe, from what I've experienced thus far. Simulator games, some graphic novels, Virtual On. I remember that arcade, playing that in the arcade. Puyo Puyo 2, Dragon Ball Z, Eve Collection, Desire something. There's probably a bunch of games in this one here. Check out some GBA. Classic games here for the GBA. I don't collect a whole lot of GBA, so I don't look through them all that often. This one you can find plentiful everywhere. Those of you out there that collect GBA, let me know what games are great for the GBA. And there's this little pocket of Game Boy games here for the DMG. I've never seen before these two at the top. Strawberry something other. And DuckTales. I've never seen DuckTales for the Game Boy. 20 bucks for that one. And interesting ones in the back there for Game Boy Color. But not a whole lot for the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advanced at this shop here. Not always like that, but here they just didn't have a heck of a lot. I could have just missed where they were. 
Chimura, Ghost and Goblins. Bushino Kirby. Pokemon Dungeon. King of Hearts. Kingdom of Hearts, excuse me. Let's move back to the PlayStation section because I did find an awesome little collection of my favorite series, Rockman. So let's see if we can find that again. I think I see it. Coming up here soon. Here's Rockman 1 on the PlayStation. Those of you that played this, um, how is it on the PlayStation? I don't think I've ever played a Rockman game on the PlayStation ever. I've only, always only played Rockman on the on Nintendo systems, whether it be the NES or Super Famicom. But the original Rockman series one through six has got to be my favorite series out of any series is on uh, the NES, hands down. Rockman is just awesome, awesome possum, as some people might say. They do. We got Rockman X4 here as well. Never really got into the X series, Rockman X series. I didn't, got, I didn't get that far. Here we got X3. Artwork on these jewel cases is really amazing. Rockman X5. What are your favorite Rockman? games from the Rockman series of any time, let me know. I still would like to play Rockman 11. Those of you guys that have played 11, is it worth, is it worth getting? I'm still trying to play my way through the original series, actually. I've played all the games, but I have not beaten them all, so I'm trying to go through all of them. And I think I'm still only on two, so I'm right on the edge of two. One on one. Looks like a basketball game there. Yeah, they do have quite a few PlayStation games here. Biohazard Director's Cut. One thing that I do love is that all the Biohazard games, for the most part, are quite uh, accessible, very cheap, and easy to pick up. That's got to be my one of my favorite PlayStation game games of all time. Uh, here we got PC Effects CDs. Here we got Al, what is it, Arba, Bea, something or other. Um, We got Macross here, 52 bucks. I'm guessing this is an awesome shooter. But 52 bucks, that's kind of out of my usual price range of what I usually like to play, pay on games, but this looks really cool. I definitely would like to get that one in the future. There's also Pat Labor here for the Super CD on the PC Engine. These are all CD Engine games, by the way. I'm sorry, PC Engine games, by the way. Burning Feet, Shearing something or other. Memorial... Something. Rising Sun. clad women in these. We have Yamato. Is that any good? Anybody? Only a thousand yen for that one. Yep. Golf game Cobra, which has awesome art on it. And we got Gaki something or other. Ray Phantom. Dragon Half. I remember this from a long Zack or Yak? Zack? 
in the game they called the Bleak Sack. Angel. Metal Angel. Drop them. Private Eye Doll. Princess Maker. Burning Feet again. Weird Idol Games. So many of those here. Star something or other. Child CD Battle Interesting game there. Hyper. Not a bad little collection here of PC Engine games. few more Sega Saturn games. We got Sonic Wings Special and the Yaku Ken Special. The Neo Geo CD Garon Densetsu Special. So <laughs> there was just an aisle of random games that had special on them. Here we come into the display case as we come up on the new Game & Watch, the Mario Color Edition Game & Watch. They even got some Game Gears in here as well. The miniature ones that came out not too long ago in each of the colors. And an interesting Switch game here that I have never seen before. The Super Famicom Mini Classic. Looks like it doesn't come with the box and the Famicom Computer Mini. Quite a few game systems in here. Minecraft for PS Vita. The miniature SNK How How Maru. Never seen that one before. It's all clear. That's kind of cool. Mini Neo Geo, excuse me. And we got the Mini Mega Drive. There's another Neo Geo Mini. Those of you that do have a Neo Geo Mini, what do you guys think of it? Is it worth all the money you paid for it? And down below we have the PS5, both the white and in the black, going for an exorbitant amount. Close to a grand for each of for one of these things here. Do any of you have the PS5 out there? If you do, let me know how it is. And here's a smaller display case that they had. Had some Super Famicom and Famicom games in it. Some were very well, way overpriced, so I didn't spend too much time on it. But this place is vast, and they had anything you can think of, every type of game. DS, 3DS, as we peruse the hallway, peruse the cases, or the, uh, what do you want to call them? The shelves here. All their Super Famicom, they even have a little section here of Xbox One games. As you may know, Xbox gets no love in Japan. There's very little Xbox One anywhere to be found. Hence this small shelf of Xbox related games. But that also goes to show you can actually get Xbox stuff here quite cheap because it's not so popular. I wonder if that will ever change in the future. But here we have a lot of uh, Wii stuff as well. Wii U games on this shelf lot to choose from. And this awesome little item here. We have this giant 
Game Boy where you could sit there and play Game Boy games. Or I think they had the actual mini Super Famicom hooked up to it so you could play Super Famicom games on it. Definitely cool to have. And here's the honorable mention here we got for the PS3 JoJo's Miona Boken. I am still new to JoJo's but after looking at the Dreamcast version, it looks incredibly awesome. The graphics are amazing for it. I was really impressed with it. I might have to pick it up. And just taking a quick look at some of the PS3 games they have here. I do have a PS3, but I don't have a lot of games. Never really got into it. Mostly played a lot more of the American games like The Simpsons. That was a pretty good one for PS3. The Simpsons movie game, I believe it was. And I think I played a couple uh, Biohazard games as well. Here we got the Switch section, which is actually a pretty large section of Switch games here. We got the new Zelda game, of course. 7,180 yen. Brand new copy of that. And we got Zoids, also a brand new game there. And Taiko Tetsujin, I know some of you out there are in love with this game. Dragon RPG something or other. Koi Suru Otome. Another probably Japan exclusive some game here. Definitely exclusive Japanese game. Some kind of probably not so interesting type game there. And another one which is, let's see, can I get it? Shokuyo Shoujo. Interesting name, Moonlighter. Those of you that have Switch out there, what kind of games do you look for? Or are there any Japan exclusive games you're looking for? Let me know down in the comments. Super Mario 3D. Lots of that to go around. We've got controllers for Mario Party. The pink and the lime green. We got Smash Brothers here. 58 or 59, I think that is. Let's take a look at a few more here. Here we have a game called Mary Skelter. Is that like Helter Skelter? I do not know. Some more interesting <laughs> games here for the Switch. Also, we have Yeez 8 for the Switch. Probably a good one. I wouldn't know. Persona 5, I believe. Another probably Japanese exclusive. It's Gyaru Kajin. Or Gyaru Kanin 2. And looking down a bit more, we have Giraffe and Anika. And another probably Japanese exclusive called Doku Musume. Meaning like poison daughter, which is an interesting name. Question of the day. What is on your retro game hunting list? Give me some of the games that you're looking for. I'd like to talk about it down in the comments. I'm curious to know what games you're searching for. If you want to check out more giant recycle shop game hunting videos, I'll put the link to the playlist I created down in the description. We're in that holiday season, so I hope you are all doing well and spending lots of time with your family. Thank you all for watching. Take care out there and stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking?